Hi guys, uh, greetings of the day, myself uh, Vijayta Vardhan and uh, in this session we are going to have a discussion of a problem on isometric projection. An example is like this. A cone based diameter 60 mm and height 50 mm is placed centrally on a frustum of a square pyramid, base side 100 mm and top face side uh, 60 mm and height 20 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combination. So according to the given condition, one can see that uh, the cone is positioned on a frustum of a square pyramid and the orthographic projections according to the dimensions is as shown in the figure. Now let me show you how to do the isometric projections of the scene. Now we can see that uh, the bottom we have a, a square pyramid bottom side as 100 millimeters. So we will construct the 100 millimeter square first. Now using a line command with a 0.5 mm thick and a continuous line. So first we have to go for 100 and angle is 30. So then again 100 angle is 150 again 100 angle is minus 150 and then get back to the first point or we can give 100 minus 30 and after which uh, using the same line command uh, let me get the center by using this tracing points this is going to be the center of uh, the given square and after which we know that the height of the solid is 20 millimeter so let me consider 20 millimeter axis position which is supposed to be shown as a chain line in the 0.13 mm thick. And after which we are going to select this uh, square or the face over here. Then make use of a move command. So make sure that move copy is on. Then move the square from this bottom end to the top end over here like this. Now we can see that this is not a slab. So this is going to be the uh, first jump and the top face size is 60 millimeter. So for which we have to reduce the 100 millimeter square to 60 millimeter using a command called as scale. Now let me make use of a scale factor as 0 0.6 that is uh, 60 by 100 is going to be the 6 is for 0 0.6 is going to be the scale factor. Now it has to be positioned centrally at the top face over here like this. Now you can see the 60 mm square has been constructed as per our requirement. Then after which uh, make use of uh, a line command and we can connect all the edges which is going to be seen. Now this is the only edge we are going to represent the other edge is going to be overlap so you need not to worry about it. Now this completes the construction of the first term of square pyramid of bottom base 100 and top base 60 for a height of 20 millimeter and after which one has to construct the cone of base diameter 60 millimeter and height of 50 millimeter. Now we can make use of the same square now we have to complete the ellipse over here. Now to construct the ellipse of 60 millimeter, we have to draw the 60 millimeter square which is already available here. Now for the constructional purpose of uh, ellipse, I am going to show you how to do the same. Now from this line midpoint, I am going to connect it to the corner like this and again to the midpoint in the opposite direction. And in the same fashion, this is what uh, the construction line we have to do it to construct the ellipses. So all these things we have discussed in detail in the introduction classes so you can go to those videos and uh, you can learn it again from that and then I am going to draw the first arc using the arc by center point from these points as a reference and again at the bottom from here to here I am going to draw an arc and again from this intersection point I am going to draw one more arc here so starting from the end now one can see that we may get the arc from the di different directions where we want or don't want it so the only thing is we need to keep a try. Uh, now you can see we got it. Now in the same fashion I am going to draw the last arc. Now you can see I have drawn the four arc to complete this uh, ellipse. So that's why we call it as four arc method. And then the construction lines can be eliminated or deleted. Now using a line command uh, starting from this position that is I am going to develop the axis of uh, the cone whose diameter is uh, uh, sorry, whose height is 50 millimeter. So let me draw a 50 millimeter line like this. It is supposed to be in the form of a chain line at 0 0.13 thick. Now to complete the conical portion using a line command and you can see we are going to get a point on element symbol. Now you can see it is moving tangential to this arc and it has to connect back to the apex portion over here and then again point on element and it should be tangential. Now one can observe that both the symbols are obtaining. Now we can complete the construction like this. And then 
using the trim command the invisible lines can be trimmed like this or it can be retained as a thin lines if it is required for us now wow, wherever the invisible edges are there that can be sorry here we have one edge yeah now one can see where the isometric drawing or isometric view has been completed now selecting the isometric view we will get back to the isometric projection using the isometric scale factor now one can see that the isometric projections of the given combination is completed in all aspects as per the given conditions now, if you are having any sort of doubts uh, this is my contact details you can contact me at any point of time and uh, thanks for watching this video and if you like the video you can uh, press the like button and please do subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video to most of the engineering students uh, where they will get the most benefited out of it and you can press the bell icon to get the latest video updates in my youtube channels thank you guys once again